Okay, guys. So today we are gonna be answering the question of why does the harmonic series diverge? So this guy quite intuitively should converge. I mean, all those terms are getting smaller and smaller and smaller as the time is as the time is passing by. So why? Doesn't it have a limit somewhere? Well, let me show you guys a nice argument for that using those partial sums. So a partial sum is basically just a sum of some given number of terms, you know, beginning with the first term and ending at the one subscripted with the subscript of the partial sum. So for example, the partial sum that we're gonna be denoting as sigma sub, let's say three, so the partial sum of the first three, mm, first three terms is going to be well one plus a half plus a third so the sum of the first three terms of the harmonic series and now i would like to show you guys a pretty interesting fact you see if i were to take myself the partial sum of the first four or the first four terms of this sequence well what is it going to give me it's going to give me one plus a half plus a third plus a quarter now, well, you definitely will agree with me when I say that this thing right here is strictly greater than one plus a half plus a quarter and then plus a quarter. So what I did here is I actually kind of just replace this, uh, this third right there with a quarter. You see, a quarter is less than a third. I mean, you know, just kind of a, just try slicing a cake into three or four slices and take one of those and you will see that this partial sum right here is greater than this pseudo you know partial sum that i created okay but this thing is equal to well those quarters here are gonna just sum up to a half so i'm just gonna go i'm just gonna get that it's gonna be equal to one plus two over two yes yeah? so one and two halves which is actually two Okay, that's pretty lovely. And now I would like to take myself a partial sum of, let's say the first eight, the first eight terms. So that's gonna be out of writing. One plus a half plus a third plus a quarter, a fifth, a sixth, a seventh, and an eighth. Lovely. And now, well, what can I do here? I've already said that those guys here, this partial sum about up, up to the fourth term, is going to be greater than one plus two halves. Okay, and now I would like to do the same looking trick with the remaining four terms that I've got there. So I would like to say that it's, going, it's all going to be greater than or equal to one plus two halves. So I'm just kind of writing this thing there. And now I would like to well, do something with those guys out. So it's going to be greater than or equal to, well, an eighth plus an eighth plus an eighth and then plus an eighth. So what I did there is I just replaced this fifth, sixth and seventh with three eighths. Well, a fifth is greater than an eighth, a sixth is greater than an eighth and a seventh is greater than an eighth so this inequality surely holds well what are four eighths well those are gonna just sum up to a half and so what i actually do get here is one plus three divided by a two so one plus three halves and actually i could go like this inductively and pretty neatly prove that when I get to the partial sum of the first two to the power of n terms, what I'm gonna get is just, what I'm gonna get is that it's gonna be greater than one plus n divided by a two, those previous two partial sums do definitely you know, satisfy this condition I put right there. And well, if I do it, well, then it surely has to diverge. I mean, this harmonic sequence it de definitely has to diverge. I mean, if I were to take myself now the limit as n approaches infinity of both sides of this inequality there, so um, first of all, of my partial sum of the first to the power of n terms, which actually will, will give me the sum over all of the terms, because two to the power of infinity is just going to be infinity. I'm just gonna be summing up all of the possible terms there in this partial sum. 
is going to be greater than the limit as n approaches infinity of 1 plus n over 2. But, you know, this guy right there, it surely diverges. And we, well, we just have an explicit n right here. We divide it by 2, but it doesn't really matter. It's just going to tend towards infinity. And so what we actually get is that, oh, let me maybe write it that way, the sum as n goes from 1 up to infinity of 1 over n is going to be greater than infinity itself. Well, it has to diverge, unfortunately. And so we do say that, yeah, it does diverge. So once again, what did we do here in order to prove it? So we took ourselves the partial sums of some of the first few terms of the sequence that we actually kind of noticed and stated without proving, but well, the proof is just mm, pretty straightforward, that the, that the partial sum of the first 2 to the power of n terms is going to be greater than 1 plus n over 2, and then we just took the limit of both sides of this inequality as n goes to infinity, and we well got that the sum we're looking for is greater than infinity, and so it diverges. Hope you guys enjoyed it and see you in the next one. Bah.